You look really strong. You're really strong. Keep going. I did it. I'm about to go on my last run of my half marathon training plan, and I can't really believe it. It's currently Thursday. The race is on Sunday. Um, and I've got a 8k at sort of like race intervals, but my race interval is quite slow, so it's quite it should be quite an easy run. Um, and I'm just going to do the part of the route I haven't done yet. Well, that's the goal anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Like, it's just all getting a bit real now. But let me show you my outfit because it's cute. So we've got on a full oil blue set. It is these new like move. My mirror is so dirty. Okay, well. Let me sit down, you can't see the dirt. But it's these new sort of tops. They're quite thin. I'm gonna run through them, um, but this is my first time running in it. So I'm gonna let you know how I find it. Then I've just got the oil blue unified leggings and then pure sport socks. But I'm testing out running in this top because I wanna run in this or in a slightly different color for the half. But I was like, I need to try it first. But yeah, ready for my last run. Oh. Right, so we're about to head to Hobbycraft because I wanted to get some bits. Let me just finish putting up. <laughs> because I wanted to get a bow for my hair and also um, I need to grab some like safety pins and stuff to obviously put my bib and everything on. Um, so we're going to go there and then we're going to nip to... I think Sainsbury's um, because I need to get more bagels because that is my pre-race fuel um, and I, put, I need to get a couple of extra bits anyway but yes we'll see what Hobbycraft. So we are in Hobbycraft, we are looking for ribbon to put in my hair. I've lost Adam already. Uh, I should probably read the things that tell me where everything is. Ah, I think we found them. I feel like I want to get some of this pink ribbon. Because obviously I'm running for cancer research. But it needs to be one which is going to stay in my hair. That's quite cute. Uh, hmm. What I want... I don't know. The gingham's quite sweet. Like gingham pink. Because I've got bright pink socks, like I've got that sort of colour socks. So unless I get that bright pink, because it will match. Maybe I get this. Wait, I'll consult Adam. Yeah, I've gone for this one in the end. It's a bit thinner and like I said, it matches my socks. Um, so we're going to pop that in my hair, do a cute little bow. Because, yeah, I think it might look nice. I might plait it into my hair as well, I'm going to see. But, yes, ribbon acquired. So, yeah, I ended up finding some safety pins as well. I just got the cheapest ones because I'll be able to get some that are in there. Because um, it's just to attach my number. And then also I'm making a little badge on my back as well. Um, but, yeah, it's a successful trip. It was what I needed to get. I've just finished my, like, cancer research thing to go on my back. Um, don't ask why they're called Gangan and Dandis. I don't really know. That one was because I couldn't say Grandad, and that my cousin made up. And I, it's, I think that's supposed to Grandad. Um, but it's quite cute because you get this in the cancer research thing. So yeah, that's going to pin on my back. Um, again, following the pink theme because that's cancer research. And then this Grandad, um, it's like Alzheimer's and dementia, which is blue. So and then they're also the cancer research colours. I enjoy doing the arts and crafts because I haven't done it in a while, but. Yeah, the pens were good. I just stole them from my housemate. Just looking through my TikTok, um, and I found this one. Which, obviously, if you can see it, is me in... When, what date was that? In October. Um, being like, huh, all these people running the bath half. I can't run 5k. Girl, you're running the bath half. I, <laughs> I don't know how to break it to you lightly. That, that is going to be you tomorrow. So, like, oh, that is insane. Like in October, like I said, struggled to run 5K. And now I'm doing a half marathon. Like, I don't know why I've done, like, oh, you know when you've like signed up something, you think, why on earth am I doing this? Like, I, like, I've paid and trained voluntarily to put myself through pain. 
but it'll be fine right so i've done the classic night before the race um layout of everything so i'm just going to run through everything that i've got because it might be quite useful so i've gone with two outfit options i'm not 100 percent sure which one i want to wear yet these are both brand new honor active tops these are launching on tuesday the 20th i want to say um they're this nice like lightweight running material this is it in wisteria purple and oil blue now the reason i've got both of these here is because this is short sleeved whereas the oil blue is long sleeved so i think i'm just going to see the vibe in the morning i think this is a prettier color but practicality wise and then i've got two different types of leggings these are the on active unified oil blue so it would match the top then these are the effortless coal leggings i've run in both of these before absolutely love both of them they don't fall down these are a little bit thicker so again potentially for warmth um but yeah we're just gonna see in the morning then two saving graces from pure sport this is the freeze roll on i will put this on like smother my legs in it basically um just help all my joints and any aches i might have and then on the pink theme, I have got the Pure Spot Run Club socks because they're just a classic. They're typical running socks and obviously Cancer Research is pink. So like, and also pink socks make you run faster. On the pink line, I have got this ribbon, which matches quite nicely to the socks. And I'm gonna put this in my hair, probably gonna do like a little bow or something, maybe even plait it in with my hair. Cause I'm gonna do like a slick back plait thing. Then I've got some energy gels. I think I'm gonna take two caffeine ones and one isotonic one um because these are the ones that i've used in my training so don't want to switch it up now and then i have got my bath half number which is exciting this is a definite must have and then attached baggage i don't know if i'll bring much baggage but if i do then i can attach it um this is the little cancer research thing i'm gonna stick on my back some tissues because everyone was like you need tissues when you run because if suddenly you have a blocked nose or something you're going to regret not having tissues gel to slick my hair back and then little um hair bands to make sure like it doesn't fall out and then spsf because that is a must have um, i've just realized i haven't actually got my running vest here so let me add that to the pile now as well this is here i've spoken about this before it's the my protein hydration vest so it has the little water in i'm not sure if i'm going to take water or squash yet because obviously squash is quite good for all the sugars um and there are water stations along the route but yeah this is my go-to um vest so it is currently like 10 to 10 on the night before i am just about to go like brush my teeth get ready for bed um the nerves have started to kick in now a bit nervous i can't really actually believe that i'm running a half marathon tomorrow no I, th I think i'm excited i think it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be a good day um but yeah just a bit nervous but i will see you tomorrow yeah. it is the morning of the half um i've got my outfit on i did go for short sleeves because this is currently the weather outside can see it's currently blue sky so we're keeping our fingers crossed it stays that way and i can wear a short sleeve um i thought i'd come on because i'm just gonna document i'm eating a banana and then i'm gonna go downstairs and have my bagels um because it's currently about nine o'clock and i start at 10 to 11 so i've got enough time for it to sort of digest and get into the system but yeah, i've got cute little bows in my hair as well but yeah see you see you in a bit so we've got the classic marmite on sesame bagels because sesame bagels are just elite like they just taste so much nicer and then i've got quite a strong squash but this is the energy i needed for today sun beaming on my face it just if it, if this was rain this would look a lot different i would not be about to be excited to run a half marathon um so fingers crossed the sun stays out but so far so good so yeah i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast oh now the camera doesn't like me because i've got out the sun yeah i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and then i'm gonna go meet up with tia um because we said we're gonna start running it together anyway and then just sort of see what happens but yeah so we've got the full outfit on when you know the badge is attached it's real pure sport do you want to do the outfit pure sport pink socks coal effortless on active new wisteria purple in the new like light tees my protein vest and then obviously i've got my number and then on the back as well just the little cancer research thing um and then i've got some bows in my hair but yeah we are about to head off to the start line now 
Um, so I'll probably see you just before I'm about to run. On our way, um, I've actually managed, there's some time and I can meet my parents beforehand, which will be nice. Because um, otherwise if I see them the first time when I'm running, I'll be like, ah. um, So that's where we're walking to now. Although, whilst walking there is good. It's using steps that I didn't need to be doing today. Um, but you know, that's all part of it. And it's lucky that I live in Bath, so I haven't had to travel this morning or anything. I literally just had to get up and go. So, but yeah, on our way. We're just about to stop. Big scary, big scary. But I have so fun. no faith. Have no faith right now. <laughs> Where? Oh my god, are they going? Oh my god, it's the illusion that's powering us through. Wait, people are going. We need to stop. We're three and a bit k in. Easy work. It's, it's work. just started raining a little bit, but we're going. Woo -hoo -hoo. Coming up to 5k! Dying! Woo -woo. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be good to see you here. Just 7 to 11 would be quite hard. Just stand there with a point in the middle. Get me a point in the middle. Let's go. I just wanted to get on the. We're almost at 10k. Woo! It's hard, but we've got it. We're doing well. <laughs> Keep going! I did it! Oh, be in the vlog! Anything for the vlog! Um, that was so hard. Oh, I'm walking back to mine now and I've done literally like 30,000 steps today. So it's insane. But you did it! Yay! I tried to film as much as I could but towards the end it got quite hard. So. But yeah, we're gonna go and have some nice food and I just need to get some sugar in me. <sighs> we are back home now. Um, Adam's gone and I went out for a lovely roast with everyone, although I didn't actually eat that much of it because I was sick. <laughs> Which is unadvisable. But yeah, so I didn't feel 100%, but I ate what I could. Um, I feel so much better now, to be honest. I think having that bit of food really, really helped me. Um, so I've got a Wagas on the way because I was just craving a katsu curry for some reason. Um, but yeah, I got the top and medal because did you really run a half marathon if A, it's not on Strava and B, you didn't get a medal and a top, um, which is so nice. But I'm just going to close this vlog off here. Honestly, no idea like what content was got, but that was truly an experience. It was probably the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, like I thought it was going to be easier than that because my 18k I did felt easier than that but my legs just were not they were not in it today um but I still did absolutely amazingly like I still crossed that finish line at the end and you know I feel okay now so yeah we ran a half marathon and thanks so much for coming along the journey with me maybe we'll do another one in the future maybe we won't but I haven't got the post half marathon delusion of wanting to sign up for a marathon I can't think of anything worse maybe another half but for now no um oh but how rude is it we got an email straight after we finished sign up to 25 out now no mate no I need at least 48 hours to recover maybe five five working days um but yeah like i said thanks so much for coming and i can't actually believe that i've done